you just mentioned unknown uh, before we get to uh, what I had. Now, unknown DJ, and I just heard this last week, had a label called Death Row before Death Row. It was Death Row. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Talk to me about what you know about that and how that may have affected Death Row, and did he get paid or anything? Well, when Unknown, uh, Unknown spun off and had his own label, uh, Techno Hop Records, first and foremost. You got to understand Unknown. Unknown has always been a he very creative dude, okay? He's very sharp with it. And we would sit around and drink. Uh, I drank his uh, Kahlua and Hennessy. Uh, we sit around and drink Kahlua and Hennessy. We brainstorm sometimes. And he's always been like a... a uh, what's called that? Like a bee, bumblebee. He pollinates all the different camps. He goes, he, I know there's one of them cats that he don't mess with everybody, but he mess with everybody. Okay? Mm. And uh, he and Dre always stayed tight. He left to me and Dre them fell out. He stayed tight with Yellow, Dre, all of them. And uh, he had the concept for Death Row, like Death Jam. And everybody loved it. And they were going to name, initially, was going to name the company Death Row. Yeah, mm. DEF row, and mm. I think should like now nah, we want to go death row. So to keep him from doing that, they gave him a big old fat check. They bought the name Death Row, and then changed it to Death Row. I see the artwork. I wow. see the artwork. Okay, I see the artwork. Death Row, and you know at some point in time, but you know what? We're gonna make it Death Row. Don't worry about it. Gave him a check anyway. Wow. Yeah, never knew that. That was one. Of the, that's one of those little twisted hip hop secrets that I just found out about four or five years ago myself. Huh? Now you probably know more about this, but did Death Row even have to break him off? Like, is is it is it far enough from a comparison to where, no, or, they, or is it? They agreed to do the Death Row. They liked the hmm. idea of Death Row. Oh, gotcha. They wanted to do this. They gotcha, it. gotcha. Then they gotcha. gotcha. Uh, okay. Ah. They said, forget it, we're going to go death row. We're not going to go death row. We're going to death row. Yeah. Okay? Making it a little like, more gangster. You know, they bought the copyright and everything. Bought the artwork, everything. Oh, wow. I've seen, okay. I've seen the, the mock-ups. Okay? Wow. Huh. And then later Damn, on, that's interesting. Later on, there was a problem with Suge, and he left, he left death row and death mm. row. Okay. So he was affiliated, not just he name-wise, but he... He was with some groups over there, and oh, okay. uh, the deal didn't go right, and uh, he left. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Smart guy, sounds like. Quickly. Yeah, he sounds, yeah. I, I, I met him one time, and it, I, I, I told him, I, my, my joke was, I've never seen a picture of you. I don't even know what you look at. He's like, that's why I'm unknown. <laughs> you know what? I met him one time at your place. We argue about that all the time. We argue about that all the time. I'm like, dude, you are the second highest ranking West Coast pioneer on in, in period, okay? Mm. And there was three cats, me, Unknown, and Roger Clayton. We all, I started first. They, they was right on my heels, okay? It was right on my heels. And when they would, Roger, uh, Unknown used to take pictures. He used to, and then he got to this Unknown DJ thing. I got pictures of him, we, you know, but, but as he got to this more to this Unknown DJ thing, he just took it and ran with it. I mean, mm. the dude, we've been friends for over 40 years. He did my documentary. He did the motherfucker like he's in uh like he's in uh witness protection program. We had to turn <laughs> off all the light. I'm not bullshit. To turn off all oh, the light, wow. put his ass in the shadows, and that's how he did my documentary. Okay? Like like the FBI or this mafia looking for his ass. Damn. They're saying your 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 um, they're saying your your um your levels are in and out. Just make sure I don't know if you have a mic there or something, but I, it's it's in and out on my end too. So just so you know, just maybe just be aware of where you are. Okay, you got it, guys. I mean, let me let me comment real quick. Get with you on my end. Let me up a little bit. I, let me take, it, check man. my volume over here. All right, there we go. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me try something. Appreciate up. you all in the uh in the comments keeping the uh keeping the chats alive and thank you for for pointing that out because I, I thought it was me too but i'm literally half deaf in one ear so i can't I tell so. most of the time <laughs> good looking out guys good looking out shout out to um celebrate life cerebral shout out to 
Uh, Bond says, what's up, brother? Shout out to D Blue. Shout out to the real Aaron Collins. He says these millennials are out of control and very unstable. You ain't lying, playboy. 